Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram, and I'm here with a new copy of Reactor 6.03. I just wanted to go over all of the things that are new. So we have a new property called Layers in the View tab of the Properties menu that you can use to ensure that certain panel elements will always be in front of other panel elements. So you can see our mouse area by default has a layer of 5, and our knob has a layer of 4, so we can't touch this knob because the mouse area is on top of it. But then if we change the layer of the knob to 6, then the knob will always be in front of the mouse area. So this might seem a little mundane, but it's actually very useful to create complex and interesting GUIs. Uh, previously, the method used to ensure that one element was always on top of another was pretty janky, so this is a big improvement. Next up we have anti-aliased lines in the multi-display object. And so you can see how nice this is by comparing it to what existed before, which was these really ugly jagged lines. And you can see, um, especially with small angles, angles close to zero or angles close to 90, they just look really bad in my opinion. Um, so we can switch the object type to negative 5 here, and we'll get an anti-alias line. They can look bad sometimes too, but if you increase the width, they'll almost always look substantially better. So uh, by default they have a width of 1, but they look much better with a width of 2 in my opinion. So these two things combined are going to make it much easier to create high quality graphic user interfaces in Reactor, which is great. Uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is panel grouping. All right, so these knobs are all great, but moving them is a pain um, because there's so many different elements that make up the visual aspect of the knob. Well, now the macros have a a uh, property called Group Panel Elements in the View tab. And once that's on, you can grab any element in the whole macro and click and drag it. And so this is fantastic for when you're building complex structures. It just makes the whole process so much easier than it used to be. So this is a, a great improvement for sure. Next up, they've gotten rid of the default borders in instruments and macros. And this is nice because before you were forced to have an 8 pixel border both on the left and the right side of instruments and it just ends up being a lot of wasted space in my opinion. And so in the view tab of properties for the instrument there's a new section called borders and you can change these values to line your panel elements right up against the edge of the instruments and this just allows you to be a little bit more flexible with your design. Nothing too important here. You'll notice that uh, these improvements are going to get more boring as we go on because I'm going in order from the things that I'm most interested in down towards the things that I'm least interested in. So the next thing that we have is a new property in core cells and we can see this by adding a new core cell and jumping inside and clicking on the structure view getting the core properties there's the GUI events only and so this is a pretty complex new feature but basically it allows you to have a core cell that is doing a lot of operations on your graphic user interface without having that core cell interrupting the audio thread which could happen in previous versions of Reactor and in the near future I'll have a video kinda going over this in a little bit more detail. So the system info module has been updated with a GUI output. This tells you how much CPU your graphic user interface is using so this value is not included in the CPU thread uh, CPU reader up in the upper right hand corner here. The graphic user interface is on a different thread and so this just lets you know if you're using too much uh, CPU with that. 
you can also switch between a smoothed or a raw output for the CPU readers. Next up we have comments modules. These exist in primary only, which means I'm really not that interested in them. If they were in core, I'd like them a little bit more. These just allow you to create comments and drag and drop them. So those are kind of useful, but again, I'd be a lot more excited if they existed in core. Next up, snapshots and presets have been integrated. And again, if I used presets, this would be interesting to me, but I don't. You can see this a little bit better in um, an ensemble that actually has some snapshots. So these, this is just common sense, having these two things integrated. So it's good that they did it, but I'm just not particularly interested in it personally. And finally, they've added some data tracking, and this is on by default. So if you want to turn it off, you'll have to go into Preferences and uncheck this box here. And I've unchecked mine because, you know, I don't really feel like there's a whole lot of information that they're going to grasp, grab out of me using Reactor that is of much interest. I give Native Instruments pretty detailed reports on the things that I'd like to see changed, and I don't really see this providing any information that that doesn't. All right, so once again, this is Salamander Anagram. Just checking out Reactor 6.03. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon.